Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lex and I would absolutely love it if you like the content, if you like the videos, if you want to support me, if you would consider liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing on the videos. It really helps the videos to get out there more, you know, pushes them out to more people. And overall, it lets me know you like the content and inspires me to keep creating. Today, we are going to be talking about the Challenge 40 Battle of the Eras episode two. This is part two of the Era Invitational. As we know, last week, okay, we had all of our four eras in the chamber deciding who else was going to go in with the losers. And if you forgot who the losers are, I'll put them on the screen now. So, you know, we get right on into it, okay? They are in the battlefield right now. Girlfriend Narice is going to be down there. We all know Narice can bring it, but let's be honest, she's the smallest girl here. So it's tough. It's tough to walk into this. I am definitely extremely worried. After the challenge, our winners had to select one man and one woman. And we find out, okay, that Era 1 also chose Anissa and Derek to go in with them. Era 2 chose Kara and Brandon to go in with them. Era 3 chose Amanda and Tori to go with them. And Era 4 chose Polly and Olivia. Okay, so we are pumped up. We also find out that we are getting like four, like, uh, what's the word? Iconic competition. gave us Take Shelter in one of the greatest upsets in history. Tonight, you'll be playing one of those. Okay, and we are going to get them in the order of when they were first debuted on the show. So let's go right into it. Era 3 gets Balls In. If you've forgotten what Balls In is, basically, unis try to shoot the ball in a hoop. One person plays offense, one person plays defense, and whoever can shoot it in first wins. Very simple, very straightforward. So we start off with Amanda first Naya, and immediately Naya is here, and Amanda's like here. So it seems, right, it seems like Naya has this in the bag, but you never know. Sometimes a small girly pulls out something and is like, you know what, let me get in there. Uh, so <laughs> Amanda has a lot riding on her because she's fighting with everyone in her era. Nobody really likes her. She's been in beef left and right, left, not good for Amanda. So she claims, she claims that she has that fire in her and that's going to cause her to win. Now, anyway, Amanda scores one off the bat, by the way. Naya just let go. Like, they were literally going at it, and it's like Naya had just let go, and Amanda got one. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, wait a minute. Is this really gonna go the way I thought it was gonna go? But it is very, very strange. So Naya then tries to take another shot in the hoop. Boom, bounces out. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. This isn't looking good. This is not looking good. So everyone's going up for Naya though, because again, remember, no one likes Amanda. Amanda does not have a good track record with these people. Now, Naya gets one in and we're like, okay, Naya's head's in the game. Naya is here. She's gonna get it. Let's get it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, let's get it, Naya. Come on, girl. And surely enough, Naya gets another one. One in, and Amanda is axed. Goodbye, Amanda. Amanda leaves us with some parting words saying, look, Corey and Tori, they are shady 100%, and hopefully everybody sees them for who they are. Now, Josh, he's a little like, bounce chicka, wow, wow. He says Naya is a 10 out of 10. He wants to get to know her, okay? Kylan, too. Both of the two of them are like, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay, she looking good. Anyway, next we have Leroy and Tony. Now we know Leroy is not good at this game. <laughs> Leroy is very, um, for somebody who's been on this show so much, Leroy is not, not giving. Now, Leroy does feel bad for Tony because he actually did well in the competition. So to, have, to be going in, it's unfortunate, 
but that puts the fire in him to want to win. He knows that he has not been doing well. Remember, Leroy just has a newborn baby and a small daughter. So he really claims he has that fire in him. He got that dog in him. Okay, now Tony also has the fire in him because he says he is the lowest man on the totem pole in his era. So he wants to prove he could win. So Leroy off the bat goes for it and misses. And I'm like, this is... It's not starting out well for Leroy. Okay, now Johnny Bananas, he over there, he's like, I look at Leroy as a blood brother. I love Leroy. Leroy's my man. Uh, Tony gets one. <laughs> Tony shoots it in the hoop. He gets one. Next. Bananas is like, Leroy, just keep running sideways. Keep running sideways. Keep running sideways. Because Leroy has no strategy. This is like, Leroy has, I'm like, how? been on this show like this and you still have no strategy i was so mad leroy is getting demolished though like he is getting absolutely demolished tony is literally just running through him it's not looking good it's not looking good and at the end tony wins tony wins the competition leroy Catch you later. He just doesn't do well. Devin is happy that Tony got the W, especially because he was pit against Josh. He just feels like it's good to have someone on my side who is here and I have an ally myself. Okay, number, now we have pole wrestle. This is era one, okay? And you know this one, you just have to get the pole two out of three times. You know, you just gotta hug the pole, hold the pole, put the pole wherever, and get it out of the person's hand two out of three times. We start off with Derek and Mark. Now, Mark thinks that because Derek is smaller, he's gonna be able to move him around, wiggle him around, but Derek is the pole, uh, pole wrestle champion. So, I don't know about all that. So, Derek is, is on it. Derek is literally on top of it, on top of it. And Mark goes to whoosh, flip him over. Now, they cut to a commercial break, and it wasn't as, like, crazy as they made it look, but it definitely looked like he was about to whoosh, toss that man up. Um, anyway, so Derek gets it. He gets the pole, and, you know, it overall, obviously, with this staying low, keeping it close to your body is the best strategy. So, Derek, like, gets it again. I think at this point, Mark just got fatigued or something, because Derek snatches it up, like, almost again, instantly, and Mark is... Mark's out of here. So we have Anissa and Katie. Now, we know Anissa, she has been in a lot of finals, but she ain't ever won. So So she's like, I just want to win something. So we see Anissa get in the ring. And look, Anissa is bigger than Katie. And she says it. She says, I'm thick. I'm going to use that to my advantage. Yes, ma'am. So I'm wondering, though, is it really going to be something? Katie goes in swinging, okay? She knees Anissa in the face from the get. Katie's getting scrappy, okay? Katie was like, I am going to win this if, if my life depends on it. But Anissa gets it. Y'all, An snatches that joint. Almost interest instantly, once again, I think Katie was fatigued. You know, era one, y'all are getting older, so I think no shade, no tea, but I think they get fatigued a little easier because we saw in both rounds, almost instantly again, Anissa snatches the pole up the second time. I think Katie got very fatigued from doing all of that round one. So shout out to Anissa. Okay, let's maybe see you pull out a W, girl. I don't think she will, but let's see it. Now, Bananas, Kara, Laurel, and Polly, we get a little, a little flashback of them all fighting, okay? Because we know Kara is going into the arena chosen by Bananas, okay? We know that. And they are fighting. They are fighting. You know, Bananas claims, look, Kara, you never tried to pull me aside to squash the beef prior to this. You know, it's like now that you're in danger, all of a sudden you want to say sorry. Polly is all like, it doesn't make sense for my ga your game to get her out. And he's like, well, maybe for you, but for me it does. <laughs> maybe for you, Polly, because that's your girl. But mm, not anymore. By the way, they broke up already <laughs> again. Um, anyway. 
But maybe that makes sense for your game. It doesn't make sense for my game. So squabble, 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 back and forth. Anyways, era four, we have Hall Brawl, okay? Hall Brawl, iconic, beautiful, wonderful. Theo versus Pauly. I was hyped for this one, okay? Theo goes in and smacks the ish out of Pauly. Are bright, my legs are wild. Like immediately, he's like, Fuck. I was like, Ooh. he not playing. I was like, he not playing. That's crazy. Polly, I swear, was delirious because at one point they're standing at the end, and uh, TJ's like, Polly, you gotta go for the button, and he has to run all the way back. But obviously, of course, Theo's like right there near his button, so he just goes and gets it. But I was like, what is going on? On. Second round, Theo throws him out of the hallway, okay? Throws him out immediately. Polly was annihilated. He did not stand a chance. Theo came for blood, and of course, Theo won. Theo wins. Now, we have Olivia versus Norris, okay? Olivia and Norris. Olivia says, look, I know we have beef. It was my fault. Last season, we just are not in a good place. So you're, th we're all thinking... It's going to be a lot of this because there's that animosity. Round one, neither one of them is fighting. People are literally like, girl, this, this is a contact competition. Like, y'all can touch each other. Y'all can fight. What is happening? They just literally run past each other. I was like, am I? What is going on? <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Olivia does end up touching the button. Second round, Norris, Norris. Norris was like on fire. I think second round, Norris decided that she was going to start trying to fight. So she pushes down Olivia. She starts dragging her down the hallway. It's starting to look promising that Norris might pull out a W. But no, ma'am, Olivia done got up and said, oh, nah, you are not going to beat me. And she runs, smacks that button. Olivia wins. So sorry, Norris. See ya. All right. Then we have Take Shelter with Era 2. And this is the one where they basically have to tie up a string, a chain, a bunch of cinder blocks and all of these things. They have to put it in front of the door of like a little jail cell thing. And then whoever opens the door and can get into the jail cell first wins. So obviously the two girls, they tie up their own and then they swap and they have to get the other one. The two guys tie up their own swap. Same thing. So... Ryan was going hard, man. He was throwing cinder blocks. He was like, when it was his time, he was like, whoa, 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 throwing them cinder blocks. I'm like, okay, Ryan, well, hold up now. You is like, literally like a madman, just throwing like full cinder blocks, bags of sand. I'm like, whoa there. Now, it is looking like Kellyanne is about to get that door open. And again, they cut to commercial break right before, and I'm like, oh my God, Kellyanne is really going to be car ride? Uh-uh, that's crazy. JK. Kara gets into that door, but it was close. It was really close. That's it. Damn. All right, Kellyanne. Wow. Way to f go. Close. And I'm not going to lie, the way this episode was edited, it looked like things were going to go a different way than they actually went. So I don't know. I don't know. They probably on Twitter now talking about something. You all that editing. Bro, they're so funny on Twitter with all that. Um, Ryan also ends up winning. As we see, Ryan is like... See you later, Brandon. Uh, and that is that, okay? That is that. Now, we have our losers, okay? Put you a little video of our losers. You were brought into this battle for a reason. You've made an impact. Despite being eliminated, your impact continues to be pivotal. Rate the remaining challengers on a scale of one to five. Five being the highest and one being the lowest. The next champion could be in your hands. Whoa. <laughs> And TJ says, but wait, yes, you all are going home, okay? Y'all are going home. That's, that's still happening. However, you get 
a karma vote. And basically what they have to do is rank each and every player from one to five. Some people in the little preview were saying zero, negative one. And I'm like, can we give negatives? Can we give zeros? But you have to rank from one to five. We don't know yet how it's going to affect things, but that vote is going to go toward something. That is our episode, y'all. Anyways, if you made it to this point of the video, I would absolutely love it if you would help me to drum up engagement on the videos by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Gets more people out there. It gets, you know, it helps me to grow my little community. If you're interested in Big Brother, I am doing live feed recaps every single day. So check those videos out on my channel. And also, please make sure you are subscribed. You have the bell on so you know when I drop a new video. Make sure you're still subscribed because people are getting unsubscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!